Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I have only one topic for you. It's the correction of my video, the audio side of FX6. Let's get started. In my video, the audio side of FX6, I explained the signal flow through the AGC and the limiter. And I say that the AGC is always in the signal flow. On the comment field in my video, a uh, user named Moline Alumer, I hope it's spelled correct, I think it's from French, or it is a French name, he wrote in the comment field that he think this is not correct, he think the AGC is not in the signal flow if you go to manual uh, mode. And I had a look again in the menu, he is right. Let me show you what I've misunderstood and let me do this in a good old way with paper. So here we have a copy of the audio snickel. You can find this in the manual of the FX6. And by the way, uh, there is a link in the, to this video in the comment field. And the signal flow I show here is for nearly all Sony camcorders with auto and manual leveling mode the same. So this works also for the FX9 as an example. Okay, here we have the input section or the full signal flow of the FX6. Several inputs can be switched um, to channel 1 or channel 2, then we have the wind filter, then we have the auto or manual level control, we have um, the possibility to change if we want to level by the knobs on the side or with the menu, and then we have the input level overall and we have a master level. And then we have the limiter, which can be switched off, and then we have the AGC, which is always in the signal flow. That was my understanding of this signal flow. But there is a mistake in the drawing and I show you uh, why I have misunderstood this. So let's look on the input, use input number one, uh, go through the wind filter, switch not on the wind filter, use the level control in auto mode and then the signal goes here on top, goes through the AGC, AGC is involved in the signal and it goes to channel number one and is recorded. That's the way if you use the automatic gain control with your signal. That's fine. And you cannot switch it off. So the AGC is in this way always in the signal flow. If we use the manual mode, then the signal is doing the same thing, input level, master and so on. But then it is attached to the limiter and not to the AGC. So AGC is not involved if you use manual mode. And here, from my point of view, is the mistake in the drawing. I think what we need to attach here is this, this sign. So this sign shows that the signal goes into the limiter, is corrected by the limiter and goes then to channel number one. This is the main uh, point why I understood it wrong. So I think this sign, which is something like a mixer, um, has to be also here and also here. But this is switches, maybe this is correct. Uh, but if you, use, if you mix it, then I think this is the correct way to use it. This could be an issue with the drawing, or I don't understand the drawing correct, that's okay. I will check this with Japan if I have sorted in the wrong way or if the drawing is correct. But it is very clear if you use the auto mode, the automatic gain control is always in the signal flow. If you use manual mode, AGC is not in use, but the limiter, but the limiter can be switched to different positions off minus six and um, minus 9, minus 12, minus 15, minus 17 dB, so in 3 dB steps. This, is, uh, this was a wrong um, decision or a wrong explanation in my video and I correct it here. So thank you very much to Moline Alumer, the user who gave me the advice that this is wrong. I hope I have explained it correct now. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. That's okay. Write me in the comment field what you like to see, what I can do better, and what do you think I have done correct or wrong. And subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.